In this video, I'll show you how to get deleted photos back on your iPhone. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. There are a few different things you can try to get a deleted photo back on your iPhone, so make sure you watch this full guide to know all of them. The first way you can go and get a deleted photo back is going to the recently deleted photo folder. If you didn't know, when you go and delete a photo or video on your iPhone, it's actually put into a folder for I think like 28 days or 30 days and then after that will then be deleted. So what we can do is go to this folder. To do that go to the albums page and then what you need to do is scroll right to the bottom of this page. Just like so and at the bottom as you can see we then have the option for recently deleted. Go and tap there. You will need to go and use your face ID to go and view it or enter your passcode and here it is. Here is the photo which I went and deleted. Um, as you can see it's here and then to go and recover it all you need to do is tap on select like this click on it and then you can go and tap on recover like so, press recover photo and that is now going to be back in my photo library. However, if you went and deleted the photo or video from the recently deleted folder, then here are some methods you can try to go and recover it. Another way you can go and get deleted photos back is if you've gone and sent it to somebody, maybe in a message in like iMessage or WhatsApp or whatever message app you have like Messenger, Facebook Messenger. For example, here is the photo I went and deleted but I actually sent it to somebody before I deleted it and if that's the case, it's still going Going to be available. So yeah, if you think you've got to share that photo anywhere, whether it be on Instagram, on Snapchat, or in a text message, then you might be able to go and recover it. And here it is. And if I wanted to go and save it again, I could hold my finger on it like so, and then go and tap on save at the bottom, or I could always go and screenshot it as well. So the next thing I recommend you try is if you've gone and saved your photos to iCloud before, then you may be able to go and get it back from iCloud. So if that's the case, go into your settings like so, and then what you need to do is scroll right to the top to where it says your name, and it says Apple ID, iCloud, Media and Purchases, tap there. And then what you need to do is go and tap into iCloud, and if you go to apps using iCloud, as you can see we've got the option for photos, tap there. So at the moment, I haven't actually gone and synced my phone with my iCloud photos and I haven't done it for quite a while. Any photos that I since deleted from turning off sync this iPhone, if I go and turn this on again, then all those iCloud photos will then re-download onto my phone. However, if yours is still being turned on and you deleted it from your iPhone, then it would have also deleted it from your iCloud, which is quite important to note. But if you've gone and turned yours off quite recently, then what you can do is to turn it back on and hopefully the photo that you've deleted on your iPhone will still be in the iCloud because you've turned off the sync, so it wouldn't have gone and deleted it. But as I said, if they're currently synced right now, then when you went and deleted it from your phone, it would have also deleted it from iCloud. The next method is going to work if you've recently gone and backed up your iPhone to your computer, whether that be a Windows or a Mac. Because if you've gone and backed it up, then you may have gone and backed up all of your photos. So what you need to do is go and connect your phone to your computer. If you're using Windows, go and open up iTunes like this. And if you're using a new Mac, open up Finder. Or if you're using an older Mac, open up iTunes. Then what you need to do when you're in iTunes is go and click on the phone icon in the top left up here and then click it again and here we are on our phone page. Getting the deleted photo or video back using iTunes is only going to work is if you went and backed up your iPhone before you went and deleted the photo but off also after you took the photo on your phone. So basically you need to make sure the photo has been included in the backup. You can find out when you last backed up your phone to iTunes because down here it's going to tell you. So as you can see I last did it on April last year. So therefore, any photos which I took um, you know, before this date here, which were on my iPhone at the time, would have been backed up. So therefore, I could go and then go and restore my phone back to that backup there and go and get the photo back. But what's really important to note is if I go and restore to this backup, I'm gonna lose everything I've done since this last backup. But don't worry because we don't have to lose everything permanently. If this is the case and you think you can go and recover the deleted photo by going back to your last backup, then what you should do before you go to the backup is backup now. So therefore you're gonna have a latest backup of everything on your iPhone up to now. And then what you can do is once you've backed it all up is you can restore to the last backup. And that means, as I said before, you're gonna lose everything since you've the last backup. So everything in the last year I'd lose. And then what you can do is go and find the photos which you've since deleted. You can find them and you can go and like email them to somewhere or upload them somewhere, send them to somebody or something. And then what you can do is come back here and click restore backup again and then restore to your latest backup, which you would have taken today. So I hope that did make sense. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try my best to get back to you. If you guys found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.